Nyanga. The first uh, act of kinship is Brogga, which is uh, was created in 2001. It really was just uh, my, I suppose, my ongoing trips to northeast Arnhem Land, and um, the families in northeast Arnhem, Arnhem Land have been quite instrumental with their living song and language and stories, and they've been a huge in injection in terms of Bangara's traditional um, inspirations. And so, um, look, Brogga was just a little dreaming creation story that I'd heard, and um, you know, a children's story, and out of that became this sort of contemporary expression um, work inspired from that work. In 2011 we created a work called ID, which really was about the present day, the, the social black politics, how uh, identity became an issue in, in the sort of social climate, political climate, about the colour of your skin, about who you are, who are, and, and I suppose it was just posing those uh, social questions to the to the artists and myself, and we just sort of structured these about you know eight to nine little vignettes of um, incidents about um, uh, you know uh, our perspective, I suppose, on those issues. So. A past work and a present work just felt like a perfect fit to sort of um, show the sort of evolution of Bangara storytelling. touring is a huge part of Bangara's programming and you know it's a priority because for us really it's getting out there um, not just the you know the the, the major cities but um, to get out there regionally and it, it allows us to get closer into rural communities as well and besides the performances I think it's um, you know, it's just a great medicine to, to, to go and experience um, theatre live theatre and, uh, and and and, the, and uh, having this connection to um, indigenous storytelling but also allows us to do workshops with um, you know with youth and uh, non-indigenous and indi indigenous youth in, in particular. <laughs> <laughs>